Stephen Hawking's in a queue, and they go and say, Carl, got a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, and thinking it, of cloning a man and a moth. Yeah, problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not an issue, were you? I mean, were you both terrified and excited? For just for the moment when you thought that they cloned a man and a moth. I pictured, um... What kind of face I'll, did he have? Was, did he have the moth's head or was it a man's head? Just a little head, little man head. Right, what, what was his face? What did it look like? Just, he just was like a bit like, a bit, bit shocked. Perplexed, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, it, like, so it was like he'd been, he'd been, he'd been grafted onto the body of a moth without yeah. his, his consent. And when he was asleep, <laughs> yeah, he'd woken oh. up. He just, he just went in for to have a goiter removed yeah. and they said, we've he replaced your with goiter wings. with the body of a giant moth. Yeah. Just Is that all right, Mr. Jenkins? I'm so sorry. he had the- Right, okay. And he's just bumping into a lamp. <laughs> he's bumping into a lamp. <laughs> For some reason, they want one of us to do an impression of Leslie Phillips. Can't do it. I can't. I, I, I he doesn't. He say ding dong, and hello, and all that. That's not bad. But, That's but bad. I want. I want Carl to do it though. Yeah. Go on, Carl. Go on. Hello. <laughs> well done. Say ding dong. <laughs> ding dong. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Do we do any other impressions? Um. No. <laughs> I can't Go. Think of any. Hello. Do that. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> yeah, <but> brilliant. <laughs> oh, God. Do, uh, You're my name is Bond, James Bond, as, uh, as though it were Sean Connery. My name's Connery. Bond. James Bond. Do that. Go on. My name's Bond. No, do it as though you were in doing an impression. Sean. I'm, what, so I'm trying to be Scottish? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, sort of. Perhaps a bit more specific than that. Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Bond. <laughs> no, Keep going. That's not my name's Bond, James Bond. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> it's not bad. This is, this is the best fun. It's like yeah. having your very own Fisher Price toy for yeah, two exactly. hours a week. Exactly. It's great. Um, do um uh, uh Roger Moore do that? Uh, Roger Moore. <laughs> Phyllis Pierce, <laughs> Percy Sugden, I'm, I'm licensed to kill. Uh, that, anyway, she just said. No, uh, this is a great no, game. No, no, yeah, no, we'll, we'll come it, back to this another time. Yeah, maybe. anything, <laughs> anything you want Carl to do. Yeah. Right. The, the little cheek of the freak that we've gone for, anyway. <laughs> the what? The little uh, freak of the week, yeah. cheeky freak of the week. Mm. We've gone for um, this Siamese lad. Okay. Right. Happened back in. Uh, you can't have a Siamese lad, can you? All right. Yeah. This Siamese twins, uh, happened back in 1693. Oh, he's got a date, blindness, first time ever. Yeah. Um, and all it was, he was, he was doing all right for himself. He, he used to go on the, like, those circus things he used to do. They're two people you're talking about, Carl. So we're going to him. All right, then. All right. They. They, they did this circus show, right? Yeah. And, uh, everything's going well. They, they, you know, they're, they're selling out the tents and stuff, people coming to see them. Yeah. Um, he was doing all right for himself. Yeah. Right? Did, um, sorry, before I said that, did you think a Siamese twin was a man with two heads? Well, it can be, can't it? It depends. There there is, there's, there's, there's two people, they're conjoined. No, 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 but it depends, doesn't it? The one that I showed you in that book that time was a fellow with two heads. No, it wasn't. That was, that was a, 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 was a, f uh, a stupid picture in one of your stupid books that he had a growth that looked a little bit like it had a face on it. It wasn't a man with two heads. You're the same sort of people who send potato chips to restaurants and say, doesn't it look like Norman Cook? Yeah. It's not two heads. <sighs> we'll bend this feature. No! <laughs> No, it's, it's just- They're right. two people. They're two people. Conjoined twins. Yeah. Right, so these- just sort of, They just happen to have a similar taste in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so there's, yeah, they were doing all right and it all went wrong when he crossed the road, got run over. The lad with two heads got run over. That's it. <laughs> what?! How is that- how is that Jiggy Freak of the Week? Just because, just because it got my interest and I kind of thought, why didn't it just look both ways? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come in with topics every week and this week I've got, uh, hang Ghosts? No, hanging bacon is one of the topics. Say that again? Hanging bacon. Hanging bacon? All, all the titles- Francis Bacon. <laughs> no, all the titles are sort of named to sort of make, sort of tease you and get you more interested in it. Hanging bacon. Well, you've right. certainly intrigued. Go on. What's another title one? Uh, hairy Chinese kid. <laughs> <laughs> Could I, I'm no. going for that one. Could if, I, there I mean, a, if there was a university degree yeah, with that yeah. title, yeah. No, I'm going to go for hairy Chinese kid. And I think. the final one. Yeah. Alien gives man a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Right, I Alien gives first. man a beer. I am going to first. Right, listen, Carl, you've got to tell me. Right, to first, right, let's do it in reverse No, we're not, we're not going to do it now anyway. What do you mean? You, we've got to do it now. That, that, I mean, that's this is the first interesting thing you've said in an hour, okay? The listeners have just uh, been subjected to rubbish and, uh, oh, and mistakes and everything for the last <laughs> six months. Please, we've got to do Alien Gives Man a Beard. What is that? Tell us that. Right. Um, Sorry, this is just you telling me something, is it? Well, <laughs> this feature is you telling me something. I'm teaching you something, educating Ricky. All so, right? are we playing it now? We're already into this feature. <laughs> well, into this feature, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should there not be a jingle or something? Yeah, can we have a well, jingle? There's no point because look, I come up with ideas and you dismiss them straight away. So I'm not wasting my time making stuff. Right. If you don't like well, okay. It. Let's play. Let's play educating Ricky. Right. Brilliant. Go right. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Educating Ricky. Right. What are we going for then? Hanging the bacon. Airy Chinese kid. Alien gives man a beard. I think Alien gives man a beard. I'd like to do that. Right. There's this fellow. I think it happened in America. Uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky. <laughs> and uh, God, if you're bored. And he stood there. <laughs> this is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yeah, it's cause it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO, right? <laughs> yep. And he looked at it and it disappeared, right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. He hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you sure it wasn't it. someone else who got in the car? And he was still standing out there? No, right. What? And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light, and I, gr I, I got back in the car and I grew a beard, and she said, never mind your beard, where have you been for three days? <laughs> and what had happened is- He the, passed out because he was pissed. No. <laughs> the, the UFO had taken uh, him for three days, yeah. but he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had yeah, happened is, yeah, yeah. he took him and yeah. he grew a beard because he hasn't had a shave. Um, right, okay. T t I mean, was Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones anything to do with this at all? Did, uh, you, did you see this on a video, maybe, and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. Here. Um, Can I just ask again, just, just again, I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent for three days from home. He's the, grown the a beard. The time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <coughs> seen a bright light in the sky? What, what if, if he, he was lying? Drunk? What if he was lying? He'd got knocked unconscious, mm. he'd had a car crash. Just any lying. No, things. just lying. Or he it's, was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days and with his mates. that was his excuse to his wife. And they went, what are you gonna- what- Dennis, what are you gonna tell your wife? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I'm not gonna believe I was out with you lads. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just say you're only away for a minute. No, she no, I wasn't away for a minute because of the beard. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have, that's- <laughs> exactly. Right, okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played. So, well. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learnt from this? Never listen to you again. That's all I've learnt so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no. Uh, what do you mean, add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this. To this, what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right. Um, there's only a law in America that says <laughs> if you touch a UFO, you're going to get done. Now, why would they make a rule? I don't know that- do you know like all their rules have a code? Uh, Carl, I, I, I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Right. Do you know like how here- <laughs> Do you know what- I have no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know like how <laughs> here- I'm listening to Capital and these headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got- I got Foxy on from yesterday. Ah. <laughs> uh, right, let's- let's bin that. <laughs> no way, he's crazy. From 1978, Carl, Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon. Are you a fan of that? It's alright, that's a great track, isn't it? Fans right. of Warren Zevon, maybe if you should know he's got a new album out. Um, as we speak. Although, if you're a fan, you probably know that already. Yeah. If you aren't People a fan. People who hate him would yeah. be interested in knowing <laughs> yeah. that he's got a new album out. Yeah. Do you believe in, uh, I think Werewolves. Lycanthropy? Is it, is it not called? What's that, sorry? Lycanthropy. What's Lycanthropy? Isn't that. Wa werewolfism. Really? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do you believe in that, Carl? They've, they've, they've found stuff, haven't they? They've found kids walking about who are all airy. Cause, right. uh, <coughs> cause they've, they've sort of grew up with, uh, wolves and that. Yeah. So- No. You see, two things there. Um, right, uh, you cannot take on acquired uh, characteristics genetically. So, if you grew up with wolves, it wouldn't suddenly make you hairy. 
there's been pictures, there's been pictures, there's been stories on it, and I reckon most people have, or a lot of people have seen the stories, it's a popular you thing. Mean, you mean the kids that are born hairy? No, no, there's kids who've been born hairy, right? Yeah, that's it. No, but listen, and they walk around on all fours, <laughs> and they drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> Oh, Steve, this is no, too No, remember, easy. listen, remember that time with the maggot and the head? Yeah. Um, and getting out with bacon and you were like laughing and then people called up and said, yeah, I've, I've seen that, I've read about that. Yeah, this is the same you, thing as- Have you seen an XFM listener up close? Have you ever looked- They studied? drink milk from a saucer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've got to be kept on leads, people who listen to this show. There's, there's no point in me telling you about stuff. There is, it's- Comedy See, when, you, when you were out of school, did you keep arguing with the teacher saying you're talking rubbish there? Teachers didn't teach us about werewolf boys and ghosts. <laughs> they taught us maths. God. Right, tell the story about the man I'll cover. Right, in the same magazine as, uh, as the one with the, with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on its yeah. face <laughs> is it, against God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like yeah, physics. Physics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the manhole cover again. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive, Carl. <laughs> I'll explain What's that. going on there? Something weird is happening there! <laughs> oh! If anyone has ever seen that metal cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> what sort of experiment is that? I imagine all these scientists on multi billion pound research projects, they're going, we test everything. What would you do to the manhole cover? Don't know. That's like letting a couple of students. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Do you reckon it can send a traffic cone, cone yeah. into orbit? Go on then, put it on there. <laughs> I love that. I imagine that. What, uh, what, of what value is that? <laughs> I'm like, so what we could do, we could let the, put the manhole cover on it and aim it and then blow the bomb up and it would, <laughs> it would, the manhole cover would have someone's eye out. <laughs> fire it. See if you can fire manhole covers <laughs> off the nuclear bomb. I don't know. Tie bangers to a bomb, see if it's louder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Nirvana. Man who sold the world. Carl's all confused because it didn't tell you it was ended, did it? Uh, what is that then? Is that a sort of glitch in the computer? Just applause, isn't it? Okay, they it. might start swearing. You know what they're like. Yeah. Rock, star rock stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Blue language. Yeah, and all their uh, habits. Oh. And all that. Yeah, I like it says track ending now. So Stop talking about it. That's in, that's, that you're giving away all the secrets of radio and that. People think it's like an old piece of vinyl that we've put on a needle, you know, like those old bits of footage of Tony Blackburn. That's what they think it's like. Yeah, they don't realise there's computers doing it all. Yeah. Rick, you're, you're showing them behind the curtain. Never do that. I won't. I Never won't. do that, mate. Um, in the week, uh, I called Carl up and said, how are you, mate? You went not too bad. Uh, now as you know his girlfriend's been away for, um, ages, hasn't she? Yeah. Covering the World Cup, the, uh, African, African Nations. Nations Cup. She's a sports journalist. Well, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. <laughs> I love the fact you're thinking, what does that mean? Like, well she's not much of a journalist, Rick, to be honest. Oh. I've read some of her stuff. No, but she's not on air, she does stuff, you know. Yeah, behind the scenes. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. A lot of journalists do. You, you, you always want to make it clear that you're not going out with Kate Aidy. That's what you want to make clear, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now, so she she's seen none of the the meteoric rise of Carl as right. a broadcaster. She's been away for the whole time. A raconteur, sort of become yeah. a wit, yeah, um, a cult figure, oh, to be yeah. honest. And he hadn't he hadn't told her this. So uh, <laughs> apparently he went home when she was sitting there, looking a bit grumpy. He went, "All right, so yeah." She went, "Should we go out then?" He went, "She went, I'm not sure I want to go out with an idiot." Right? Oh no! Yeah. Because, and she went, Loch Ness Monster, why don't you just think, of course the Loch Ness Monster lives in Loch Ness. And she was giving a bit of a hard time, and she went, that's why I don't, he said, that's why I, I didn't tell her, I, you know, I didn't tell her really. Same thing happened when I was at school and I had to play drums in Little Donkey. <laughs> I didn't tell my parents, right, but my dad turned up anyway, and what happened? He, um... How old were you, Carl? Well, it was, it was the school that I used to go to. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. You went, well, you used to go to the school you used to go to? <laughs> no, but what I mean go is, on. I didn't go to secondary, did I? So I missed a lot of that. Sure. But primary, I liked. Oh, It was okay. all colouring in and stuff. Yep. And, um, <laughs> it was a Christmas play, and I managed to get a part in it, and, um, Did you audition? No. Um, got a part in it, and I should have been playing the drums to, uh, the one about King's 
the three, we three kings. Yeah, yeah. I was meant to, meant to be doing that, but little donkey came on, and it was one of those. What do you mean know, came on? That was like next up on on you know the the, the next song. Right, right. <laughs> and it's one of them songs that you can't help sort of tapping along to. Yeah. Do you know, like, um, like if I if I was to go, um, yeah, you'd have to finish it with. Yeah. Do you know that they actually send that into space? Do they? And what, hoping that aliens will respond with that? Yeah, they do do that because apparently it's it it is one of the things that you can't help. <laughs> what, even if you're an alien life form? Yeah. They, they know that, do they? Yeah. But anyway, what can they watch Star Trek? Or something? No. Did it? Knock knock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> who's, who's, like, if who's they send out knock knock into yeah. space, yeah, they have to say. Oggy oggy oggy. Ah, that is that is great. Seriously. <laughs> oh, it, hold on. What's something out there? Was it a little green fellow? <laughs> that is great. Yeah. So anyway, that is little fantastic. donkey. Little donkey is like one of them tunes that you can't. And I was there, and I had the drumstick, and I thought, oh god, the I, drumstick. I could feel myself. And anyway, just wanted to do it. Yeah. I started going along and playing little donkey, which I wasn't meant to do, but it went down such a storm. <laughs> What, were there people like parents and that dozing off and then suddenly they heard your version of Little Donkey and they thought, wait a minute, now it's really picking up. What do you mean I'm glad we paid a pound fifty for this. What do you mean it went down such a storm? They're going, hold on, is it, was it like when people Ringo was in the air? It was like when Ringo joined the Beatles and they were going, yeah. boo, Pete Best, but he went, <laughs> yeah, they and went, they went, whoa! whoa. Oh, God. Oh, but the teacher just said, oh, it went down really well, you can do that again tonight. Right. When you're in it again. But anyway, so my dad was there. And, um, and you hadn't told him about this performance, no, so he just did, turned up I off his own back. I never took the lighters home and stuff to so, no. you know, show me mum and dad because it just put me off. <laughs> so um, anyway, he turned up. Don't know why. He must have heard from someone else's dad. Yeah. He turned up mm. and um, he, he swore about me. Which did he? I, I, I don't. Can you? What, could you? Could you use you a, a word? Is it allowed to be said? The word. What? Of course it is. Right. If you if you got a kid in a car or anything, you can turn it down now. Oh, yeah. Right. But he said. Um, it, there was a guy stood next to him with a camera, big video camera filming it, and he said, yeah, film it, but try and avoid getting the twat in the hat in the shot, because I had one of those porters, you know, the little round pork pie hats on. Right. <laughs> this is so what, sad. It, what, was this a nativity play? It was about Jesus and stuff. Yeah, well, there was a porter there helping with his bags. Yes, was, I forgot. I yeah. mean, yeah. Mary and what Joseph, the they stable? got there. Yeah, yeah, because sure. it was the whole, you know, because the, the inn was full, yes. but I think the porter doubled up with the inn and the stable. Right, that was nice. So he, yeah. He yeah. carried bags over, yeah. Yeah, no, so, you, yeah, yeah. You're right, though, I don't know why I was <laughs> wearing one of them, but I was, and, um... <laughs> and your father said that, and how did you know your father said that? Did you he hear it? about it later. Oh, he told you about it later. Yeah, I was talking about stuff I'd done at school, and he said, oh, God, remember that, uh, and he, he, I spoke to him the other day about it. Right. And, uh... Yeah, oh God! Shame. So that was that was the end of your sort of drumming career, really, because it could have been. Yeah. I mean, you know, the audience loved it the night before. Yeah. <laughs> you could have like been like, who knows, a whole new world for you. Yeah, have you is... done any stuff? I never drummed. I've never drummed. I wish I had. Man. I wish but I had. Uh, that is that is that's uh, a movie story. But is that and that's why you don't and you don't tell you still your mum and dad don't know you on the no, radio. Do they, they think when they were down the other weekend, they had to come in. I just said, oh, I'll just go in and press the buttons because they could listen on Sky Digital, couldn't they? They could do. But you wouldn't want that, would well, you? I don't want that. No. Play oh. a record, and I want to talk to you again a little bit about this later. Yep. Right. Okay. Came up with a good idea. We'll um, be the judge of that. Mm. Uh, well, I'll do it now. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm sticking my neck out here. Um, but, yeah. uh, right. I think this isn't gonna be a good idea. Okay. Thoughts? Well, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna second that motion. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we're, let's see if we're both right. See through skin. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Rick! <laughs> okay, monkey news. Do you want a bit? Yes, please. Play jingle. the jingle. This rash is weird. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right. Uh, right, they were filming a documentary, right? This telly company. Yeah. Doing a documentary. Hey, which one? Which one? Which I one? Dunno. No, right, what was the documentary about? About monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, where was it? Where Africa. was it? Right, where, when was this? I haven't got a date. Okay. Recently though, since the advent of television, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, a bit of extra monkey news if you, <laughs> if you want it. Okay, always. Do you know the, um... Monkey news extra. Go on. Do you know the Halfords ads? Halfords ads? I don't think so, no. What happens? Halfords, they've, they've uh, you know, they sell nuts and bolts and stuff. Right. 
Uh, they were using monkeys in the ads. Okay. Um. Yeah. And what happened? Pocket. Don't they sell bikes, Alfreds? Well, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> Bicycles and, and motorbike stuff in there. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so they're using monkeys in the ad, but what happened? <laughs> I can't handle it. What? I can't do this. Look what? at him. Look at him. <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. And it, well, basically, right, they've, uh, they, uh, there was a load of asshole because they were using these monkeys in this alpha advert. Yes. Right. And what happened? Get to the point. It turned out there wasn't a problem because they were mechanics in the first place. Well, they were monkey mechanics. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mental. What are you talking about? That's not a story. Well, anyway, listen. Let's get let's get back on. <laughs> they to were it. mechanics in the first place. Right. Listen. Right. So they're making this documentary. Right. And uh, stumble across uh, a little gang of uh, little gang. <laughs> Get on with it, please. Little, little gang of monkeys. That's yes. the first time I've ever laughed, don't hear that. I know. Well, brilliant. What do you want, a cake? <laughs> Come on! Can we play a song? Oh. I don't understand what is wrong with you, you freak. It's making me laugh. <laughs> Just tell us the story! Alright then, alright. <clears throat> so anyway, right, so there's this, this documentary being made. They found a little gang of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> right, play a song. I don't know what's going on here. I apologise. Got a high you love away. According to the Beatles on XFM 104.9. I'm looking to with me, Steve Merchant. Right, Carl, come right, on. Where, Monkey where, where News. Where Everyone's we? composed the jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that. Monkey News. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Right. <laughs> right, where were we? We would just start again. There's some people making a documentary. <laughs> For what? Okay. <laughs> making a documentary in, uh... In the jungle and that. Right. Stumble across a little gang. <laughs> okay, okay, come on! Alright. Um A little gang of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on! So the camera crew are there filming it. Yes. Everything's going normal. It's nothing all nothing yeah. odd about it. Okay. <laughs> they don't they're not running a restaurant, they've not got any barber shops, <laughs> nothing. No. Just regular monkeys going about their business, yeah. So anyway. Uh mm. the what what normally happens is the monkeys Sleep with a partner. <laughs> they, they, do what? They, they don't sort of sleep around and that. Once they oh, find, right, the, they were, once they they find the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever, yeah. they, st they stick with them, right? Okay. But anyway, they were watching this one, right? And uh, it's it's going around a bit, sleeping around. Oily. Oh, really? And it was getting fatter. <laughs> they thought this is a bit odd. Yeah. Right? So I uh, followed it round <laughs> and uh, see it having it away. Turns out, little prostitute. <laughs> 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 ah! Oh God! It's a little monkey prostitute. It was getting fatter because it was charging them bananas. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of old rubbish! It's <laughs> charging them bananas. <laughs> what was it? A boy or it was a woman? Little woman monkey. <laughs> ah! That's the most extraordinary monkey news I've ever heard. Oh! That is genius! Has this documentary been televised? Mm. Uh, I don't think it's been on yet. <laughs> no. And that's all the information you've got? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And is that- that's, um, that's one banana for everything? Now half a banana is for- Just oral. Uh, a poor job. <laughs> right. Um, if you want full-blown, uh, monkey sex, <laughs> it is two and a half bananas. <laughs> sure. Sure. So, uh, Let's just play a song. Okay. <laughs> Let's just play a Alright, well this is our penultimate show, so we'll be back next week. We're gonna make it a barnstormer, I'm sure, lads. I want 100% behind it, 110% <laughs> next week. Alright, none of this giggling, none of this infantile giggling, okay. like two schoolboys. Right. Alright, we're gonna come back, we're gonna have some quality monkey news next week, we're gonna have all kinds of treats, I would thought. Okay. Some great prizes. All right, are yeah. we okay? Yeah, we best show. Home, let's make next week the best show ever. Good luck. If you miss it, then you miss out. We're ending with a track from a couple of years back, I think it was 92, 93, uh, Dinosaur Junior, Start Chopping. Play that. Start playing. Forget Start <laughs> Chopping, start playing. All right. All right. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs> getting celebrities asking me questions now, Carl. That's David Bowie. Is there life on Mars? Mm. Do you reckon? Uh, I reckon there's more going on than just us. <coughs> messing about. I reckon. I hope so. I think. Tell Steve your problem that you, you aired to me. Well, um, 
Do you know how like I'm always thinking about stuff when I'm washing up? Mm. Um, I'm just, yeah. just going to look at Steve for the reaction when this question right. comes out. Okay. There's been a few things I've been thinking about. Do you know like how I try to confuse a computer by putting in Y in the search engine? Yeah. So, uh, so along the lines of that, I, I, I was thinking in the week, if uh, you put a chameleon on a mirror, what would happen? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and also, this, this is a bit of a bigger issue. We're always making more and more stuff, right, um, in the world. You know, big buildings, big planes. Mm -hmm. Big boats and that. Will we ever get to a point where all this is too heavy for the world to handle? Right, what errors he made there, Steve? <laughs> what physical, scientific error has he made there with that question? I can't, I can't begin to explain it. Carl, we're not getting the rocks from other planets. It's already here. It's like having a, a it's like having um, a big pile of books in a room, and then moving them over to the other side of the room and build a thing going, oh, can the room take it? I'm building a lot of things out of these books. What about, what about plastic? Where does that come from? Other chemicals that existed on the planet. Yeah. Do you, see, do, do you see the point? Hang on a minute, though. What about a little tree? You plant that as an acorn, it grows, Rick. That's bigger, that's more stuff. Yeah. Don't listen to him, Carl. He's patronising you. What about you. acorns and that, though? Right. They they take they grow from minerals and proteins already in our atmosphere or in our um, the mass of Earth. What about a cat, Carl? Right, you get it. It's a very tiny kitten, but it grows up and it's bigger. Carl, he's he's doing it on purpose. Elephants. 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 They they're very small to begin with, but they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and so they get heavier and heavier. Mind you, dinosaurs have gone. You know, but. You <laughs> But you know, um, but you know that's, uh. you know famously that's how Atlantis disappeared. You know, you've heard of the, the legend of Atlantis. Have you heard of the legend of Atlantis? I think so. Go this on. was a, this was a city that existed, it's proven, yeah. right? And what happened was they just kept buying stuff in, mail order. They just <laughs> kept ordering stuff, like the king and stuff, just kept ordering stuff in, mail order. He brought girls across, carpets, you know, lots of carpets. carpets, he kept buying, TV set, big screen TVs and stuff like that, and eventually... He bought up all the myrrh. That the wise men didn't want. Yeah, he just, because he's from like olden times, and he just kept buying stuff, crazy, like he was just a shopaholic basically. Mentor it was. And he was ludicrous, it was like, and, and in and the it end it heavy. just sunk, it just sunk. Too heavy. And it just sunk. So, um, um, to the earth, the more planes we build, the more trees we let grow. Yeah. From acorns. And more than that, what about all the, uh, the people who are overeating? There's only, there's a, yeah, I, there's only yeah, one you're thing to do. in this world. I think we, we've got, a, I think we've got to kill off endangered species and burn trees. <laughs> That's the only way the earth <laughs> can survive. <laughs> you <laughs> mental. Right, what? <laughs> you doing? <laughs> Rockbusters? Is it that time? It is yeah. indeed. Last week, of course, it was a disaster. Yeah, every every Saturday at sixteen minutes to two, we do <laughs> Rockbusters. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have to say that by, I've not really gone through them, but the prizes look exactly the, the same as they were last week. Yeah, there's that T-shirt. So is a rollover. Still... You haven't added to it. Have you not? The point of a rollover is you've got to add to it. That's the excitement. Yeah, not... there's, a, there's a couple of albums that. Were okay, in well, it's okay. also the uh, Fools and Horses um, video with oh, the, the free. I don't think I'm bloody jealous of that. <laughs> I like that <laughs> little yeah. yellow thing. It's a little. Uh, there's a little kind of um, model oh, three-wheeled van. Rodney, you plonker. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. What's me. that? Uh, this is what looks to be some kind of best of of the stereo MCs. Don't call me a plonker, you <laughs> wanker. The David Attenborough DVD <laughs> collection. Oh, the unk shit himself again. <laughs> Oh yeah, the big prize that we tried to give away. You <laughs> Best chill out of Who is that supposed to be an impression of? Which member of the cast is that? <laughs> oh. Is that Cheeky Dell? <laughs> I don't know. Best chill out album ever, the best Brilliant. rare guitar volume too. Brilliant. And of course, for all our fans, Doctor Who, The Aztecs. That's on DVD and that's uh, one of the William Hartnell <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that's the worst impression I've ever heard. That's brilliant. <laughs> Right, uh, three, three, uh, cryptic okay. stuff. Oh, come on. Right, Rodney, I'll see you. Three, I, c I can't do it. No, come on! Right, three, uh, three, uh, cryptic, um, clues. <laughs> Some of which may be wrong. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, don't take the letters literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, go on. Wars in Iraq, but it, terrorism, it doesn't mention now. anything. But that's all being wrote about anyway. If you're saying there's a museum that's keeping everything, there's loads of other books for that. Who's looking at the fella whose skulls fell off? What? We see. 
It's interesting, isn't it? What do you mean the fellow whose skulls fell off? Well, that's what happened the other week, so I wrote about what? it. What? A fellow's skull has fell off. What do you mean, his skull has fell off? It's something to do with circulation. But what do you mean his skull fell well, off? Well, it's in the diary. We but how can a diary. skull fall off? Because it's surrounded by tissue and it's got a brain. How can just his skull, how can it, how can it detach itself from all the stuff surrounding no, it? He mislaid all his dreams. But, but, <laughs> but all I'm saying is, that's, <laughs> that's not getting a look in. No, because it's not significant or probably true. Good point, Steve. I don't all know. Alright, well, what's let me just, I'll just, on. I'll just consult the diary quickly and find the, uh, the moment with the man whose skull fell off. Oh, here we are, yeah. Looks like the world's fattest man is having an operation to get rid of some of the fat. Yeah. He has to have an iron bed because that's the only thing that can hold his weight. Yeah. There's also a man whose skull has fell out. He's in hospital somewhere. I hate that. It would make me panic. The hospital is busy with people coming in to look at their head. What are you talking about there? That tells us nothing. Right, it's impossible for a skull to fall out. It How are scholars in 10,000 years going to be- what are they going to decipher from that? They can sort of go There's not on. enough incident but, 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 detail. But, but, but how did his skull fall out? Circulation problems. But th answer the question, how did his skull fall out? Fall out of what? He was at home, um, and I don't know if he was combing his hair or something, but it, it come off. <laughs> what did? His skull. What do you mean, his skull? Do you know what the skull is? It's a part of the head. Well, it, no, it's the, it's the structure of the head, it's the bone. Do you mean the top of the skull? This is only useful if you have all the salient facts. Then it would be of interest to us. We could, we could. Well, that I, that I couldn't take that on. I'm busy. I'm not going to start looking into stuff in depth. Just get the details. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> you're such an idiot. You are the best, oh, idiot in the world. On XFM 104.9. Get it on DVD. It's an embarrassment. Seven quids worth of old video, pan and scanned. I bought it now, that's what they're getting. Right. They've put a downer on it. All the work, you know, that went into that, and then just gonna fob them off with a bit of old celluloid like that. Right, listen, still to come, right? We've got, um, the, the monkey thing. Ooh, chimpanzee that! And when I was out, Last Sunday, right, at Johnny's birthday party. Yeah. Steve was there. Yeah. Got talking about stuff. Um, and a debate that we didn't really finish cropped up. It blew your mind, didn't it? Amazing. Oh, that I know about this. Steve told me. This is the, uh, infinite amount of monkeys. Um, or a monkey with a typewriter and an infinite amount of time would eventually come up with the works of Shakespeare. Yeah. There was no debate. It's a philosophical, mathematical problem. There's no debate. It's true. It won't happen. No, listen, Carl, listen. Infinity sorts it all out for you, right? An infinite amount of monkeys at a typewriter, right? They would do, they do everything. They type everything. Infinity just sorts it all out for you. There's no getting to it and they're going, oh well, uh, let's have a look what they've done. <gasps> this one's come close. Did Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it would do it all. It would type everything ever possible, conceivable. Yeah, but, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a mathematical thing. Well, infinity we've heard your side of the argument, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, it's a persuasive one. But let's hear Carl because he yeah. heard about this in a pub last week. Yeah, so what's your got problem? Some what's your problem with it? What's your problem with it? Well, f first of all, right, you're saying it's a load of monkeys. It's not just one monkey. That's it depends. That can live forever. It, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's either a, a chimpanzee with a typewriter with an infinite amount of time. He would eventually, by definition, mathematically, type everything ever possible, okay? Or, it's an infinite amount of, um, uh, chimps with typewriters, and one of them will type it first time. But already, that's, that's sort of, that's not right. You either need to have what one monkey- What do you mean, what, what, you mean, the, the, uh, employment laws, what can't... do you mean it's not right? Let's hear him out, please. Okay. If it's one monkey- <laughs> Yeah. With a typewriter that's got loads of ink in it and that, right? At least it knows what it's done in the past. Don't, it's not- Keep in... going! Cry. If you've got a load of monkeys, it's like, it's like if you have too many, what's that saying about too many chefs Too many spoil chimps spoil the soup. Right, well it's the same thing, it's like, well I, I didn't tell you to put salt in it, I was gonna put salt in it, and it messes it up. Whereas if it's just one, 
they know what's gone on. So what I'm saying I, I, is, I, I, just I, leave him go. I can't be bothered. I want to hear. I want I, to hear it, this. this blows my mind. He doesn't know what this does to me. It's a mathematical problem. I want to hear the rest. Well, it's just I just don't think it will happen. What I do mean, you mean you don't think it'll happen? Infinity works it out for you by definition. Well, what's stopping them typing the same thing again? They would. They, in fact, the problem should be if you had an infinite amount uh, uh, of time that um, it would type that works with Shakespeare an infinite amount of times and everything else an infinite amount of times. But you know that's not that's just that's that's not as but not not Shakespeare. Oh, shut up, you, you know, idiot! Rick, do you know what he said to me? I said to him, uh, I just explained it to him. I said, God. "You've got an infinite number of rankers, infinite number of typewriters. They will type the complete works of Shakespeare." He yeah. said, "Have they read Shakespeare?" <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. Play I record, said, no, I'm not having this conversation. Not I'm not having it. I'm not having it because it really, really winds me up. But you're saying they'll do it with no spelling errors. Well, they do it. Uh, they do it an infinite amount of times. And they do it. They do it wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it. And they spell uh, the last full stop uh, wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it. And they get one thing wrong in Hamlet wrong an infinite amount of times. They do everything an infinite amount of times. But are they going off a story that they've? Play record, Carl, because <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. I'm just saying. Shut up. Do they know the story? Oh, I'm they're gonna... monkeys. Oh Christ. No. Right. What? Okay. What? Lloyd Cole, she's a girl and I'm a man. Good that, innit? It's on XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. As yeah. ever, Rick, there's always someone who steps in to defend Carl. Uh, uh, okay, uh, what is the defence? What is the defence? Here's a, an email from Scott Coomer. He says, Carl is actually right. I've got an A-level in statistics and probability. It doesn't matter how long they have and how many monkeys you have, you cannot guarantee they would type the complete works of Shakespeare. Infinity makes it probable they, they would get it right, but not definite. Yeah. Well, e yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. No. No, you weren't saying, Carl. You don't understand it. Infinity sort of sorts it out. That if they do- if they do- if they do anything, they're- they nearly do everything, won't they? No, I mean, they'll give it a good shot. That. <laughs> no, that's not the point. But the, the point is I'd be surprised if they did one page right. Right, listen. <laughs> it's not to do with consciousness. It's not to do with them aiming. They are it's, just bashing away it's at like, the keyboard. It's, it's like they're, they're, they're used to show that there isn't consciousness. They, they, they chose the chimpanzee because it can type, presumably, it's because, hit the keyboard. It's because they hadn't come across you at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's to take out thought out of it. It's to take out reason and trying, right? Mm. It's just random. They're saying that if you typed enough things, if the computer was left out, typing everything, if you left it for an infinite amount of time, and they chose Shakespeare because there is meaning behind it, and it's difficult to get it exactly right, to show you that Infinity would come up with a sh it's not just Shakespeare, it's every novel. It's everything. Fairly eloquent there from Gervais. A quick repost, please, from Carl Pilkington. <laughs> no, I'm just saying what I don't understand. <laughs> if it hasn't read it, then how uh, does it know where it's going? Oh! I- listen, right, I- okay, listen, right, I- I- I can can't- I, can I just- Look, can I just explain to people, right? Some people have said, oh, why are you cruel to Carl? He drives me mental with things well. like that. What do you mean, well? Can well, I just- well, let me just- You just, you just take a breather <laughs> How do I do your editing? He keeps coming in in the week. You know that I work here properly, <laughs> yeah, in the week, don't I? Yeah, I've got a proper job, yeah? Yeah. Uh, should be nine to five, but I normally get in at about eight o'clock and work A lot of people get in at eight o'clock. Working hard, trying to do my job. Three times this week, I've been rushing around, I walk past my little studio, he's sat in there, alright? <laughs> now, because I've got this sort of job, I can get away with it. I said to him, if I was a doctor, Would he keep coming to me practice? If you were a doctor, there'd be <laughs> severe problems with the NHS. Well, oh, imagine so that. Uh, the standards I'm would have lowered so much we to, go to if lunch. you can arrive at the hospital you're a well, doctor. Well, pop in, I go to lunch, don't we? We have a little lunch break, don't we? Yeah. I go, come on, let's go now. He goes, I'm busy. I go, come on, let's go now. He's going, oh, you're doing me, Ed. Well, when I was talking about the monkey conundrum with Carl, he said to me, right, if I had a day off work, and I was, say, watching the TV, and with one hand I was typing a uh, typewriter, <laughs> would I type Shakespeare? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, but you see, there's certain things. We were talking a little bit about this stuff the other week, weren't we? When we said uh, <laughs> you were going on about Einstein, and I said he's not that good. Um, <laughs> you know, E equals MC squared. You know, it sounds good, but I've never used it. And that, right? <laughs> I've never yeah. used it. Uh, you haven't used two and two equals four, Carl. The fellow with an apple fell on his head. 
you know, it could have been anyone sat under that tree. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just annoying. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Yeah. And, and it just Newton, to be gets a all, Newton gets all the credit <laughs> no, yeah. you know for his mean? laws of the universe. <laughs> well, a lot of people were working whilst he was having a lunch break under the okay. tree. So, in a way, it's like he didn't deserve to have that again, success story. Again, forget the apple and the tree and whether he was sitting down having a lunch break. It's, it's totally irrelevant. Yeah, but what I'm saying is there's certain things that will just happen. You know, it's like I think we were talking when we were out eating the other week. We were talking about Noel Gallagher. Well, this is reason the, the monkey right. discussion came up, right? We God. were- Noel Gallagher- I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Rick, I don't want to misquote Noel. I mean, like, Herbert Lom in Clue Song, I'm gonna get a twitch whenever he opens his mouth. I don't know what- I don't know- I don't know where to start with some of his statements. Well, as I say, this all- this discussion began because we were talking about a quote that Noel Gallagher supposedly gave. Now, I don't want to misquote Gallagher, but the gist of it was that he said, um, uh, had I- uh, written Wonderwall or whatever, instead of the Beatles writing Strawberry Fields or whatever, I'd be the one that was considered the great songwriter and it wouldn't be the Beatles, you know, it's just the fact that they came first that meant that they get all the credit as being the greatest band I in the world. I don't know where to start with that statement and, either. I mean, that's Gallagher's thing and, uh, and he's, you know, well, whatever, we know what you think, we think of that. What was your point, Carl? I, you agreed with him, didn't you? Yeah, I reckon, right, do you know how we've talked about putting a baby in a room before and it, and it'll know what colour it is and stuff? If, if you've got a room that's painted red, Right, but uh, forget that because that's going to confuse. Hear him out. Hear him out. Can I, can I Rick, uh, hear listen him to out. me. Say if they did some new TV show, right? Like, um, what's that film with Jim Carrey in where the uh, the Truman Show? The Truman Show, right? So they make up a little room, and uh, some woman has some kids, and you say, right, let's put the kids in this room, and they don't know what's going on outside. They they, they don't know anything about like East Enders and that. It's like their little world, right? They don't know anything that's gone on. How could a child survive without EastEnders? <laughs> right, listen, so he's sat in the room, right, and then when they're all asleep- right, this, Wait for this bit. Someone pops- have, have you heard this Yeah, bit? wait for this bit. They're all in a room. Yeah. They're asleep. Yeah. Someone pops in, puts a guitar next to the bed, <laughs> right, nips off out again. They wake up in the morning and uh, one of them goes, what's this? They don't even know it's a guitar because they've never seen one, right? They're talking so, English though. Yeah. We just left a guitar out of the vocabulary. Right, so there's plenty more to come. So one of them will pick it up and they'll go, "I don't know what it is," and they'll start strumming. They'll go, "That sounds good, doesn't it?" Give them a few weeks, they could come up with "Hey Jude." Whereas saying typing Shakespeare, a monkey that can't even spell. I see that. <laughs> uh, can't answer. Can't I might answer. come with you, Rick, if that's okay, all right. Okay, we've got, we've got sort of answer. that Christmas special as well. Oh, yeah, no, sure, sure. Oh, I, I see okay. that. Yeah. Well, I'm well, sure well. not in as well. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Um, well. Yashini Battles the Pink Robots on XFM 104.9. Before the ad break, Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle. Great track. Lovely to hear that. Brilliant track. We're not scared of playing that sort of stuff, are we? Indeed. We've got some great- I think we're underestimated here. People think we're just like, you know, two guys and a buffoon in a room. <laughs> but we're so much more than that. We, you know, we try and put together a whole package for them, don't yeah. they, for their Saturday afternoon listening pleasure. If there was an infinite number of us three in an infinite, in an infinite number of studios yeah. broadcasting for an infinite number of shows, would we ever do anything half decent? Yeah, we eventually- Would we ultimately come up with something quite What good? was that email that you were laughing I at? I can't, it's too rude. What does it say? It's well, too- it's too nasty. Oh, oh God, give me the gist of it. The gist of it was that, um, it would mean that if there was that infinite number of monkeys, eventually, besides the fact that they would type the complete words of Shakespeare, they would also type the sentence, Carl Pilkington is a genius, but- the email also said it would also type, Ricky Gervais is a- I can't say the word, but uh... I know. Yeah. But the number of times they type it and write, Carl Pogan is a genius and Ricky Gervais is a cund. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they would- they, that would be there a lot. Anyway, Rockbusters, Carl. Go yeah. on. Should we get the ball rolling? Let me just find the, uh, yeah, the yeah, gifts here, yeah, the yeah. little treats. We've got the album from the Coral, you know what I think about that. We've got, uh, Carl in Sound Feeder. Well, it's just a novelty record, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so. we've got, uh, on DVD, more great comedy moments, favourite clips from the best of contemporary BBC comedy. We've got Partridge on the front there, we've got uh, one of the guys from Red Dwarf, and, uh, Brilliant. one of those <laughs> good stuff on there. Smash Hits, The Reunion, more great 80s tunes, Kajagoogoo's on there, uh, plus some stuff- Too Shy? <laughs> it is too shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, uh, let me see if you can guess which one's from Tiffany. Uh, well, yeah, I know it, the only one. I uh, think I'm, we're alone now. Yeah, I think we're alone, yeah. Um, Mellinkim? Uh, respectable. Mm hmm. Human League? That'd be. Oh, wow. What would, it be, would they have got, don't you want me? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Ta Lion's 
take on me. Yep, yeah. well done. Um, Madness? Baggy trousers. Of course. Uh, Kim Wilde? Kids in America? Yeah, so there's just all those treats. If you if, yeah. if, if you like a song from an 80s band, it's probably on there. Yeah, okay. Plus we've also got on uh, VHS, uh, Graham Norton, some kind of best of compilation from his TV show. So, uh, there are the, um... Hold on, is it, is it the one where he talks to sort of female gay icons and, and looks at the internet? Because <laughs> that's my favourite one. Um, right, there you go, let's do Rockbusters. Right, email then. only, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you know the answer. Right, first one. A uh, bit of a cryptic clue, if you haven't heard it before. Well, not cryptic, we've gone. <laughs> um, what, what is Carl thinking? If you go into France by a boat, I'd get your fags on there, because it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> 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 Imagine Bob Holness. Oh. Sorry, we're out of time. I, uh, sorry, your minute's up. You've won nothing. I was reading that question out. <laughs> so, right. so what's the well, let's do it again. I want it to be exactly the same, word perfect. I bet you it will change uh, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost it. Go to France, buy yourself a bag yeah. of fags and okay. cheaper. Okay, okay, fingers on the buzzers. Um, you've only got ten seconds to win the, uh, the gold run. Okay, first up. Here, I'll tell you what, no, seriously, if you're thinking of going to France, well, don't, you know, because go on the ferry, get the fags there, because it's cheaper. Go on. <laughs> Alright, so that one again. Uh, if you ought to buy some fags, you're going over to France on the boat, get them on there, because you'll save a few quid. B.F. B.F. Right. B.F. Okay. okay. Right, the second one. Um, mm. This little uh, <laughs> foreign cafe is growing its own steak. <laughs> <laughs> this little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Yeah. <laughs> this little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Go on. B. All right. Right. Okay. And the last one. Uh, uh, <laughs> is uh, that part of it? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. The Jamaican fella might have screamed oh, this on the uh, on the Titanic. What? <laughs> the Jamaican fella might have scre might have screamed this on the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what's it start with? It's uh, C D. That one. <laughs> Jamaican fella might have screamed this on the Titanic. Ricky Dot Gervais at xfm.co.uk. So we'll get Rockbusters out of the way if we got a winner. Uh, yeah, well, come on then. Mm, See, it worries really. me that there's, we've had uh, very few entries. I think that even your mental fans aren't getting these, which is really worrying. They must be terrible clues this week. Alright, well, uh... Has anyone got on right, Steve? I think there's just one guy, yeah, who I suspect has won in the past. Well, that, so what? Right, the first one. Uh, if you go out of France, by boat, uh, you might as well buy your fa fags when you're on that, because you'll get them a lot cheaper. Brilliant. Right? Yeah. Um, BF. Yeah. Buy it ferry. Right, that's like what? <laughs> buy on ferry. What? Buy on f buy, what's on, buy fer on ferry. Who's what, what's that? Is that a band? What? What is it? I don't no, know what Bri it is. Brian Ferry. Brian Ferry. What's that got to do with buying on a ferry though? Just because he's quite close to it. Buy on. <laughs> buy on ferry. Buy what? On, buy on. Buy on ferry. Sorry. Uh, t t t what? That's what's first your first one. language? Uh, the second one. That's rubbish. That doesn't count. No, Brian, no. buy on ferry. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Ferry by on ferry. Um, <laughs> there's this little foreign cafe, um, yeah. it's growing its own steak. Um, that's, that's Delamitri. Uh, the third one. What? Was, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? What? What is that? What is that? Delamitri. Deli is a yeah. little foreign cafe. Yeah. And a meat tree and that. <laughs> a meat tree? <laughs> a meat tree? <laughs> what were the initials for that? Just. Just D for that. Just D for that? Yeah. So not D A. So exactly. you didn't even give them a chance to get the group. Well, they, they got it. Well, no. No, 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 no. They, they, they didn't. Right, it's the end. <laughs> Go on, right. Go on. Deli meat tree. Deli meat tree. <laughs> One word. D. <laughs> D, D. D. Or any letter. <laughs> they got M, their own M. Group. M's in it. Go on. Okay, so Bayern. Bayern. I love Bayern Ferry. <laughs> and Ox Oxa Music. Oxa Music was brilliant. <laughs> can I, I love Oxa Music. Go on. Can I just point out, Rick, that um, we've David, had... David Bowie? Deli Meat Tree. Yeah. I don't see why necessarily uh, Aidan, who uh, emailed in, why he doesn't get to win because he emailed in Dire Steaks. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> seems to be just as valid, as far as <laughs> I can tell, but <laughs> yeah. Deli Meat Tree right. it is. Um, and the last one, uh, if there was a Jamaican fella on the Titanic. I'm looking forward to this. this. It, with a little bit of fear. 
Jamaican fella, if he was on the Titanic, he probably would have screamed this. Yeah. Uh, that's Christ de Berg. Stunning. So who's who's the winner? I'm not going to give it to anyone. I what's just the, I so think... what what's the Jamaican bit got to do with it? It's the D. Just Christ de Berg. <laughs> say it again. No, I think they, they've worked it out now. What's what do you say again? Christ de Berg. And who's that? What? Who's that? Who's what? Who's Christ de Berg? Chris de Berg. Who's the winner, Steve? I'm, do you know what? I'm going to give it to Ames so, because he just he just treated you with nothing but contempt. Steve Martin uh, uh, emailed in again. He got the first two, and then the last one he just emailed. I neither know nor care about this answer. I'm tempted to give him. Do you know what you've done there, don't you? Go on. You've put the nail in the coffin of uh, Rockbusters. I warned you. I warned you for three weeks, and you sort of bucked your ideas up for a little while. But Christ, de those Berg, are the worst you've ever done. Uh, the worst are right. Delimitri. So uh, and. Didn't it just put D, and then buy and buy and ferry, buy and buy and ferry, buy and buy and buy and ferry. So. Supergrass late in the day on XFM 104.9. There's too much to get through here, Rick. Go on. There's too many things we've got systematically. Am I going to eat my list. words? Well, before that. You know, we get emails all the time, they're coming through all the way through the show, and I, I open know. them, and a lot of them, because you know, everyone's contributing, it's brilliant, but we can't really absorb everything, there's too much coming yeah. through. So I tend to open them quickly, I have a look, see if there's anything we can sort of make sense of, and close them again. Sometimes Carl looks at the emails as I'm opening them. One opened just a minute ago. Did you saw his face. I suppose, yeah, what was it? His face was just stunned. He was it's just absolutely dumbfounded. It was yeah, like he'd what just is seen it? something extraordinary, right? And you closed it quickly. I, I did close it quickly. I'll tell you why, what? right? Always got to bear in mind how Carl's mind works. Uh, all he saw was the name of the band that this email was uh, promoting. So right. all he saw, all Carl saw, and you can imagine how excited he was, was all he saw was half man, half biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all he saw. <laughs> I've never seen anyone so excited. Oh God. Oh. It was actually just plugging the popular joke novelty <laughs> band. How are you out of them then? Yeah. Uh, oh, imagine how excited he was. That is fantastic. <laughs> biscuit! Brilliant! Mr. Garibaldi! <laughs> oh, half man, half biscuit. That is genius. Oh, uh, amazing. I just saw it, and when you closed it again. Yeah, but the thing is, if, if he hadn't have told you that, and he'd have it, uh, erased it, next week you'd be saying yeah, about what they've done in scientists. They've cloned a man with a biscuit. <laughs> He's got currents for eyes. Never go swimming. <laughs> what? Never okay. go swimming. Anyway, just to, uh... Oh, I don't, I don't know what the world's coming to. When, when was the last time you went to a live experience? Uh... Well, I've, I've been to gigs, but the one that springs to mind probably is when I first sort of tried a gig out, and it wasn't a music one, it was, um, it was Bottom, do you know, with... <laughs> <laughs> bottom, what, Bottom the Live thing with... With Rick Mayer and Yeah, When was that? Years ago, because it was, it was in, in Manchester in about, I don't know, 87, 88 or something, and, uh, I was set up for a, for like a blind date. Right, this uh, a mate of mine sort of set me up to see this. See this what? Girl. So you said let's go to bottom. Well, I didn't tell her. I just said meet us at the Apollo. Uh, I bet she was over the moon, wasn't she? Met her there. Said right. Romantic. Go. Going to see some middle-aged men run round in pants. Brilliant. Well, it, it it's good. It's one of the things that afterwards you got something to talk about, haven't you? And stuff. Yeah. So and was like, uh, was it a good gig? Yeah, it was all right. Uh, sort of bought some. Bought some April fruits and that at the start of the night. Yeah. Uh, I think she liked that. And then we watched Bottom. Then afterwards had a bit of a chat. And then, uh... You didn't see her again, I take it? I would have done right, because she was alright looking and everything. Yeah. But when we were, when we were chatting, she said, uh... She had a, a problem with a marrow. Marrow what? and that. <laughs> she what? She had a problem with a marrow. She had a problem with her marrow? Yeah. Uh, you mean her bone marrow? Yeah. I'd oh! I thought you meant she had one stuck of her fanny. No, just just a 
<laughs> Thanks for that, Rick. That's an image I take out of my head. <laughs> no, when did what? Oh, I see. Amaro. I think Amaro. Amaro. Her Amaro. And is, is that serious, that? Is well, that? I just was put off it because I thought... If you well, it's, I, I think it's more serious than the problem with Amaro. Yeah, I mean... Ma with Amaro. With Amaro and that. <laughs> It's an idea if you're bored with but I love it! It's, I love it! Everything he says is like someone from Kez. It was just that thing that because- You didn't want to go out with a girl who might be ill in some way. Well yeah, I thought what's the point in spending time with her, spending money on her and stuff and then she's gonna die on me. Oh! No, 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 but seriously. God! No, but I'm just- but, see this is what annoys me. Oh. You asked me to be honest, oh. but I'm just saying what's the point in me getting upset and stuff. Uh, no, but it's not the- it was the- one thing is then what's the point in spending money on her if she's gonna die anyway? Do you gotta realise that's no, no. not a normal thing to say? No, but what's the point in getting to really like- to know- you know, knowing someone and thinking, oh, that she's really nice, I want to spend my life with her. It's good that she told me when she did. Oh, Carl! What, during bottom? <laughs> oh my god! This is the most amazing thing you've ever said! Oh, what, Steve, <laughs> don't you- don't you understand what I'm saying? But no, because- what? Well, firstly, it's the assumption that she's going to drop dead, and well, you're going to think, "Well, the doors are open for it." I don't know what 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 it means when you've got a problem with a marrow and that, but she looked pretty serious when she was talking about it. So I was like, "Oh, <laughs> Christ Almighty!" I don't want to sound so bad about it. Play a record. I'll tell you. I'll explain to her during the break. Play a record. Some libertines. Yeah. If you're morally objectionable, why not email <laughs> ricky.javates at xfm.co.uk? It's okay, isn't it, yeah? True. <laughs> but, but I sort the problem out. They've eaten all the food. It doesn't last forever, the but, food but part. But I sort it out properly. How do you sort it out? Because I'll go, right, not only are we just giving you food, right. we're giving you some seeds. We're giving you a pan. What, we're you think you... they haven't Let thought of that? Let me hear the theory, please. Right. Sort it out. Don't just give food. That's gonna run out. Right. Give them a proper. You see, the problem is these companies who jump on the back of all. Do you know when I was in the okay. jungle? Right, when I was yeah. in the jungle, yeah. right, on that travel thing. Yeah. I was in that tribe, right. Now, some company had given that tribe a laptop mm. because it makes them look good. They can send out a press release. Mm. Well done to so and so computers. Right. They supplied the tribe in, you know, out at Amazon with a computer. I saw it. They were using it as a breadboard. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't know what it is. They've got no electric, it's useless to them. Right. And that's what charity does. Right. Companies use it to make them look good. When I was there and I really needed to go to the toilet, I was thinking, ah, oh, tribe, I wonder what their toilet facilities are like, right? Mm. Thinking they might, it might be better than just doing it in a hole. Surely they've built a toilet. They're not stupid people. They kill animals. They know what they're doing. They know mm. how to cook. Surely they've built some sort of unit. Turns out, they don't, they still do it in a hole. <laughs> but some company <laughs> had been there, some plumbing firm, and given them a toilet, mm. right? The bloke who, you know, the producer who was out there, he said, oh, you'll be happy. There's a toilet round the back there. I'm thinking, oh, brilliant. I go round there, it is a toilet, but it's not plumbed in. Sure. So it's just a vase with shit in it. <laughs> It doesn't work, and this is what we need to do. We need to get out there and say, this is how it works. Educate right. them. Okay, so let's do this then. So this is with the seeds. You're not giving them a... Um, so I'm a starving African. Hello, Carl. C have you got any food? Got any... Got any food? Got any sandwiches? I'm well, I starving. have, but right. if I give you my sandwich, right. there's someone else behind you, right, and they'll okay. all come out. So what are you going to do then? What are you going to do? I'm going to help you. How? What are you going to do? I'm going to... I'm going to make you think about how to make food. Oh, okay, right. Uh, have you ever then? grown anything before? No, no. Right, well, no. here's some seeds for oh, potatoes. Brilliant. Oh, thanks, Carl. See you later. Do I just put them in the ground, yeah? Put them in the ground and oh. water them. Oh, there's no water, you dopey cunt. There is some No, water. there's no water, you dopey cunt. That's why we're starving, you dopey cunt. Right, well, at that point, that's where I go, well, this is a lost cause, eh? Right. Because there's no point. Can I have your so sandwich then, after all? No, or you're what? not having it. You're right. not having it now. So, not only can I have a sandwich, you've given me seeds with no water, you useless, bald headed fucking twonk. Right, but all I've done there is made the mistake of the computer firm who's given a laptop to a tribe. Right. It's useless. Right. But there's got to be another way around this. Go on then. Either move. Right. Because every year they're going to be queuing up saying, I'm hungry, give me a sandwich. <laughs> no, you're not having another sandwich. Once again, it's an <coughs> utterly ill informed discussion. <coughs> I'm just saying there's no <gasps> point. Queuing up oh. every year. Oh. Do you want a sandwich? Here's oh. a sandwich. Carl, the next year, can I have a sandwich? Where's your brother? He died.
It's not oh, sorting anything. It's buying him an extra day, an extra month, or something. But it's Carl, pointless. The point is, like Ricky's just flagged up, is that some of these countries, <laughs> the, <laughs> the conditions, he died. The conditions are not there to just be able to plant potato seeds. <laughs> So what are they meant to do then? Do you think we should go out every every month, every year with sandwiches? Is that your answer? Like some sort of buffet, an all-you-can-eat thing, once a year? <laughs> oh, oh, God! Oh. You see, it is bad. I, you know, I don't oh. want to come across harsh. We, th They've got nothing. We oh. waste stuff here. Waste annoys me just as much. Right. When I see sandwich shops chucking stuff out, yeah. and bin bags binning it, yeah. when there's people out there who are hungry, it's mm. ridiculous. Yeah. But I don't, I don't understand. Right, it's a problem that isn't being so solved. Your, so your conclusion for these people, because there's no water where they are, right, is move. That that is your honest. They should well, move. Well, well, what's your solution? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't, I don't even uh, pretend to know. Um, but, but I tell you, it's not just, just it's sticking a. What's that saying? I don't know, it's sort of sticking a plaster over a hole or something, and the yeah. plaster comes off, it's a problem again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, just, that's it's, the same, yeah. It's the same. I think that was Mark Twain. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like candy. One of 4.9 in London. XFM. Wow, here's a bit of a turn up for the books. Carl Pilkington on the line. Right. Yeah, where you been? I'm, I'm off there, aren't I? Right. Okay, what's the matter with you? Just, um, it's a bit bunged up and that, and it's got the shake, it's got that sort of, that shaky thing to get. Yeah, that's because you didn't eat last time when Suzanne was at work. Yeah, well I think that's what brought it on, plus she was away in the week and I put some wet jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I think that's what's caused the problem. Well, <laughs> when did you put them on your head? No, they were just on the maiden and the legs felt dry, but they were- Just on the what? On the what? Have you got the maiden? maiden? What was she doing there? <laughs> What do you mean? On the maiden that you put clothes on. What? Your on clothes horse. On maiden. Your clothes horse. Well, yeah. Right, okay, so you put wet jeans on, yeah? So, uh, that's why I'm ill on that. I'm right. having a good time, I've been watching the football. So you're just sitting at home watching telly, where you could have been sitting here? Well, I would have been better off there, because I've got a chair there. I've got no chair at home at the moment because I sold it last week. <laughs> why did you sell a chair? I what, you only had one I was chair? You. What? Look, can't we just, um, I just was calling up to let you know I was alright and that. We're not interested in that, we want to know about the chair. <laughs> I sold it, I had a little two-seater and I, I sold it because I'm getting a new one, but I've got to wait another month. So, so you've I'm got to sit on the floor for so a month? So you sold a chair before you had another one? Well, she might not have wanted to buy it in a, in a month or something. So I got rid of it whilst I could, she was alright, buddy. We'll talk about that next week. There's, there's oh, you're gonna be in next one. week? I look forward to that then. That's a dynamite piece of radio to tune in for. The yeah. day Carl sold a chair. Brilliant. Alright. So you alright then? It's going alright? But why did you take this long to call? We asked you to call since the because very beginning. We've been that. phoning you. Why is your phone yeah, so short? I heard the beginning. I, I heard the beginning of the show. I thought, yeah, it's going alright. The there and stuff. Turned it off. Um, you fact, turned it off? No, no. I put a tape in though because even though I'm ill, I'm still showing an interest in it. Well, you're not. Um, if you're watching football and shaking. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll listen back to it later, so I hope you haven't been dissing me. No. Right? no. Definitely not. Don't listen back to it, it's not worth it, but we haven't been dissing yeah. you, no. And uh, I've just been watching, uh, a bit of football, right? Did you watch the monkey programme last night? You told us to watch yeah. the monkey programme, we all stayed and watched the monkey programme. Alright, wasn't it? Rubbish, wasn't it? Obviously, obviously not half chimp, half human. Well, uh, I mean, they, they missed out a lot of the, the interesting bits. They didn't have any interesting bits, those are bits that you yeah. made up to make no, it more the interesting. Bits, the bits that I told you about, about three months ago before they decided to make the programme. Yeah. What were the bits that you came up with? Well, they, they missed out the bits about, uh, you know, the zookeeper. Right, there wasn't a zookeeper, yeah, go on. Well, there was, but they left that bit out. Well, okay, <laughs> yeah, fine. Out, and they, le out. they they left out the bit where it ran for mayor <laughs> in oh, 1975? Well, in terms did of they? The, those that did research, they actually went and filmed it, you read it on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are you're the one with the facts wrong. Yeah, they, they, uh, they, I think they also left out the bit when it jumped over three double-decker buses on a, <laughs> yeah, motorbike. on Evil Knievel's motorbike. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Not only do you not bother turning up, but you turn off the radio and start watching football. Oh, uh, yeah, I turned it off, but I've, I've recorded it, I'll listen back later and, and sort of tell Well, what you. good is that? Sort of, I, I like to keep, you know, keep it in shape and that, I'll have a word next week. Alright. 
if you receive any phone calls from people you don't know, we don't know anything about that. <laughs> Instantly, we don't know why. Why that is happening? That is just going to be a weird, spooky <laughs> thing. So and, and don't bother telling the story about um, Men in Black Two either, because I don't think people would be interested. Um, uh, actually, on the subject of Men in Black Two, <laughs> what? Have you seen that, Steve? No, I haven't, Carl. Tell oh, me about you it. You should see it. Go on. Why? Because there's this, there's this, um, there's this thing in it. <laughs> Go on. Uh, what a stupid, bald, Mancunian tosser. No, weirder than that. <laughs> There isn't anything weirder than that. Hey guys, it was gangly. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. And uh, you've got to see it because you wouldn't believe out the likeness and that you've got to see it out tonight. Right. It's not as weird. It had a normal voice, right? <laughs> He's not even here! I'll tell you what, mate, it ain't worth coming in next week. <laughs> oh! Oh, stay on the line, Carl. Play a record, Claire. <laughs> Kings of Leon, Molly's Chambers. What do you think of that, Carl? All right. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another I'd insightful say what, remark. Steve is not a, a fan now. Not only does he know you've been slagging him off behind his back. No, I wasn't slagging Steve. If you get it out on the DVD tonight, you'll know I'm not slagging you off. It could be your brother. <laughs> 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 I love the fact that he, it makes it worse, but he's thinking, you're gonna go, oh, he wasn't slagging me off, it does look like me. I do think I'm an alien. I love the fact that you hope Steve will go, he's got a point. It's the, it's, no, it's a spitting image. Yeah. I am, seriously, Carl, I'm really angry. I'm so angry with you at the moment. You haven't seen it yet. No, I know, because I know what it's gonna be, and I'm just, I'm, why? I'm what's, fuming. What's, I'll tell you why I'm angry, because he doesn't do it in jest. No, but what do you interest. think it's gonna look like? What do you think this thing's gonna look like? It's gonna look ludicrous. It's not gonna look anything like me. But no, he's gonna, like, pretend it does. No, Go it on, does. what? Go on! No, it does look like you. Yeah, of course it does. And you looked like the, uh, human Z. <laughs> well... You know. I mean, to be honest, you did a bit, Carl. You walked like him, you're bold like him, you got a sort of gormless face like him. <laughs> Any more? I don't smoke. That does. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you, I'm not well on that. <laughs> oh, you're not well. What exactly is wrong with you, you whinger? Well, uh, it's just, do you know, like a, I always tell you about the, um, restless leg syndrome I've got. <laughs> it's like yeah. that, all over. <laughs> so you're just shaking around the house? I'm just, yeah. What do you look like? Elvis? What are you doing, you're shaking around the I'll house? I'll tell you, with your bald head, you probably look like an enormous vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's what you probably look like if you strip <laughs> naked. Oh, you'll have the Scottish widow coming round. Oh, dear. That's, what's the name, by the way? I heard you talking about that. That's, um... Amanda Lamb. Amanda Lamb, who's in the Place in the Sun program. Is she actually a widow? <laughs> Is she a Scottish widow? Uh, just, uh... Hoots, man, my husband's <laughs> dead. Do you want any money and a bit of my clam? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. All right. That's the sort of uh, quality you've missed out on today. Well, anyway, you're going to be back next week. I we, we we need you back next week. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you know? That's also, how did you know you were going to be ill today? Because you phoned and arranged this yesterday. Convenient. And I yeah, spoke yeah, to you yesterday, and you didn't sound very I ill. I felt, I felt ropey yesterday. Afternoon. You've got a bit of a bunged up nose. Even now, <laughs> on the day, I have a bit of a bunged up nose. Even now, nose. I still sorted it out. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm a little bit sweaty. Paul, oh, sorting out does not out. mean you phone up Sturgis and send her down. That's not sorting it out, that's making things worse. <laughs> Have you learnt nothing? Thanks, Claire. If you're not part of the solution, you're part All of the right, problem. Mate. Yeah. Ah, oh, my little- my leg's a little bit achy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wearing wet jeans. Oh, I put wet jeans on again. Oh, 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 my, oh, my lasagna wasn't- it was frozen. <laughs> Can you hear the venom and hatred in our- in our voices today? We genuinely are upset and angry with you. Yeah. Can't believe it. I cannot believe that you'd- I mean, oh. Right, well, the thing is, th th we'll be back to normal next week, right? We've got Billy Elliot doing the film next week. Right. Uh Any prizes? Got some good stuff. Have you got any films with Burt Reynolds in to give away on VHS? And well, uh, I'll see you then. Great, we're looking forward to it already. I'll see you later. See All you right. later. You see what I'm saying though, the way the world, we've, we've changed more than the world has. We can't handle anything now, can we? Look at it, like I say, a bit of snow, a bit of cold, everything comes to a standstill. Yeah. Oh, I can't go out, it's dangerous, you'll slip over, people having time off work. Yeah.
What would you do, right? If you run a business, right, your business could go under, right? It snows a bit. You've got 10 employees. You're paying them well. And they go, I can't come in today, Carl. A bit icy. I'll do it. I'll do it, okay? Right, they're snowed in, right? You're running the business. What are you running? It's a, uh, let's not, don't, you know, I'm not going to big myself up. It's just a, no, it's a factory. Run it, it, it's it's you bends. I make, knock, no, you bends. You bends for. You Toilet. Know, so yeah. you run a, okay, right, okay. So, from you, 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 you pay them all right, don't you? I'd say most of them are on above average. So you're there. What time do you get in? About quarter to nine. Quarter to nine, waiting for them to come in at nine, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right. It's snowing. It's a bit snow snowy. You got there. It took you a bit while. You'd set off early, did you? Or? Gave myself a bit more time because I had to put the heating on the car. Okay. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello, uh, uh, KP Plumbing. Oh, uh, is that is that Miss Pilberton? Yeah, it is. Yeah, who's that? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Sheila. Um, Listen. Sheila, shouldn't you be here by now? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I was going to set off. Well, don't, but... we'll set off now. Stop wasting time. We've got a big order on. No, I know. We're all but... on a bonus here if we get this done. I'll see you in uh, ten minutes, shall I? I can't make it. What? I can't make it. Why not? The car won't start and it's slippy on the drive. I just can't get out. Get the transport. I'll see you in. I'll give you twenty minutes. All right. Don't no, worry about it. Well, Thanks for calling. I can't, I'll see you in a bit. I'm also scared of the ice. I'm scared of the ice. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna come in today. It's dangerous. So what are you gonna do? Well, I'm just. I'm gonna wait until the ice and snow goes away, and then but I'm gonna they, come but in. But they're predicting it's gonna be about. Two weeks before yeah, they clear all this. I can't really travel in this. It's a oh, bit dangerous. Well, I'll tell you what. You stay at home. I'll uh, I'll replace you because I need someone to come in. Well, you're firing me because I can't get into work with this. This. Well, uh, I, I got think, into work, Sheila. Yeah, I know, but oh, you don't live with me, do you? If you did live with me, then no, you'd probably it see how it was bad where I was as well. Yeah, I'm you, here. Do you know how bad it is here? When you come round and have a look how bad I'm, it is here, no, you drive I'm my. Tell you what, you come round and drive my fucking car because I'm snowed in. You fucking calling me a cunt, and I'll tell you if you fire me, I'll tell you to drive you, you bald headed wanker. Right, you're fired anyway for, for that. You're in fucking trouble then. Mm, right then, see ya. Right, I right. mean she's she's done with. She's weak anyway. Ring, ring. KP Plumbing. Hiya, uh, uh, is that uh, Miss Pilmerson? Yeah, it is, yeah. Hi, it's Bobby. Hi, um, Bob. Yeah, um, bit of trouble. Um, uh, in uh, my area, it's absolutely snowed it's possible. No one's getting out. I live near Sheila. Bob, listen, way. yeah, well, yeah. Sheila's just been on. She's saying she I'm, can't get in either. She can't. I've just seen her out there trying to dig her car out, and she's at uh, about. She's really, really tried hard to get to work, but she can't do it because she's she's not very rich, and her car doesn't work. She hasn't got the right tyres, and there's no public transport. They've cancelled those. Wrong snow on uh, this country. I'm not going to make it in today, son. So um, I'll see you tomorrow, right, boy. Well, no, you're saying you'll see me mm. tomorrow. Yeah, but but you'll probably call up tomorrow with the same thing. Well, only no, if it's snowing still. No, listen, might not, uh, well, I can't I can't run a business like this, Bob. Yeah, it's not my fault, is it? Really? So go round to Sheila's and and like slag me off if you want. But I tell you I'm what, not you're not coming back here. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> one chance. <laughs> give them one chance. Oh. Well, you didn't even give them one chance. No, because they've done it before. <laughs> Fucking hell! It's the noise, well, it's all there, innit? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about, um, the, what's the name? The the lost letter. The lost letter? What's the lost, this? uh, lost postcard that's, uh, just turned up. Some yeah. woman, uh, sent a postcard years and years ago to, to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And, and her niece was, like, three years old sure. back then. And just now, like, I think, like, yesterday or the day before, it turned up, the postcard turned up 74 years late. Seventy-four years later. It took seventy-four years. And that three-year-old girl's been living in the same house that whole time. <laughs> well, that yeah. Sure. There's no way. <laughs> you see what that. I mean? But there's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always. It's like the apocryphal tale. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah. Were they holding stealing? back? Because they're slow. Because the postman slug is useless. It's round takes in seventy-four years. And then he's got to go back to the beginning. He's got seventy-four years, and they can't carry the bag. <laughs> that's they go. That's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago and <gasps> somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just- Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like a, a 95 year old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, 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 you, did you have to pay like the, the difference and the charges? Uh, Cause presumably the, it, was it, a, it wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's- uh, It was, it was a penny on, black. It? Presumably was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? <laughs> it would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> I don't know. See, these are the questions no, you no, should no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no, no. if it's the postman's fault, the post the postman. office can't turn out. He was at least three at the time himself, wasn't he? He was dead. No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, <laughs> right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this. I hope it isn't urgent. Um, <laughs> it, it, 
<laughs> he's turned up 74 years late, and by the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. do that, would no, they? No, that's so, true, that's true. So that's true. You're yeah. asking questions, AC. That's, that's true, you see. Right, we're doing rock buffs this time. Oh, okay, <laughs> now you, you should explain briefly what the concept is, Carl, because no, there might be a few new listeners. <laughs> Blockma <laughs> it's blockbusters. Right, go on then. Well, no. it's not. It's not blockbusters. No, because they were real clues, that weren't would, they? Yeah, that was actually. He says true. they're a cryptic clue. It's not cryptic. Yeah. Well, it's what am I? It's like what am I thinking? This competition is like what number am I thinking of? Rick, just calm down for a second. Let me explain basically what the concept is. You'll remember some of the greats from the past. Yeah. And um, basically, uh, you give some vague clue. Is that right, Carl? And from that, we're supposed to deduct yeah. which band or artist. You you're thinking of. So yeah. for instance there was Well there was one, the West Indian fella spinning a fish round his head. And that was Detroit Spinners. The Trout Spinners. Yeah, Detroit, 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 Detroit Spinners. Spinners. Yeah. yeah. There was also what happens if you fall over into a puddle in Texas, what? wet knee Houston, wet yeah, that, knee. That is the yeah. level of Carl's That's what you're clues. working with. But could I just say, there's no irony in this. Carl doesn't think this is quirky or kitsch or ironic. This, he thinks these are, he thinks these could go on the Guardian crossword. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. This so is the best I've even come up with. Yeah. Right, so, so there's, there's three of them, yeah. right? I give you the cryptic clue. Yeah, not and to cryptic. help you along, well it is. Yeah, uh, and really. I give you some initials of the band or the artist or whatever to help you along as well. Yeah. Uh, three no, of them. Is, this is on the text only, we don't want emails on this one, just It's the one that gets the highest or the first one to get three. The first email with three or the first one that is the, the highest. So if, if no one gets the third one, which I wouldn't blame you for, uh, so if there's like 30 people that get two, it's the first email that comes in that we pick and that they win a, a handful of tat, which, would you like to go through? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll search out the tat in a second, I'm not sure it is, yeah. Good stuff. There's some DVDs and stuff there, it's not bad, yeah, but uh, it means you go forward to the grand final in six weeks time when you're playing for all that amazing stuff Ricky Scott we've got the signed uh, genuine exclusive drawing of Homer Simpson done by Matt Groening um, featuring references to Carl we've got the signed Spinal Tap poster this is big stuff you can't get anywhere else no, it's a rare, it's a rare um, American poster signed by and it's such National. a shame that your only chance of winning it is with this inane quiz uh, absolutely it's not it's not down to skill or anything uh, it's it's just such a shame that it's just do it then go on then uh, right the first one go on uh, what you got to remember is it's a band or an artist that so that X of M play as well Right. Right then, so uh, the first one. Oh yeah, because uh, X-Men play with Detroit Spinners <laughs> and Whitney Houston all the time, <laughs> yeah. don't they? Alright, these three. Okay. Give away, but these are, these are X-Men bands. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, if you got, if you got like a, a ball. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I just, just I don't know, you don't think about the cryptic clue is that every syllable counts. <laughs> he says it's different every time he says it. There'd be some different. Look, he's, look go on then. Go. Right. So if you get a bulb, right? A bulb? What? A bulb. A bulb. What's a bulb? What's a bulb? Like a, a light bulb. A light bulb. <laughs> oh, yeah. a, a light bulb. So okay, you get yeah. a bulb. You get a bulb. Yeah. 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 <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Right, go on. So you get a bulb. Right? Don't forget a bulb. Yeah. Have you got something in your throat? What are you doing? Do you need a gobstopper? What are you doing? <laughs> we'll play a song then. No, come on. <laughs> get, get the clue out. For goodness go sake. So the, the cryptic clue is: so if you get a bulb. Right? So <laughs> <laughs> That's the beginning. Okay, great. Right. Oh. Right. If you get a saw it then right. If you get a bulb like, go on. And you look after it, right? You look after that bulb. Mm. And you teach it stuff. Jesus and Christ. What are you doing there? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 this is extraordinary. This that's is amazing! Imagine that written down in the he's Telegraph! He's 18 months to get the but Imagine it! That's, a, that, that's not a clue, that's an essay! I don't know what it is! It's a conversation with yourself! I don't know yourself. if he means a light bulb, a bulb like you plant in the garden. What kind of bulb does he mean? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Well, you get a bulb. Well, um, well, remember that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Okay, it doesn't no, matter. It, it does, but I can't say too much. <laughs> Right, so listen, let me just do it again. You get a bulb, right? Yeah. It's young, you look after that bulb, yeah. you teach it stuff and what have you. What have you done there? What, what's going on? <laughs> Brilliant! Right. So the initials of the band. R. Right? R. R for rabbit, right? So what's the band there? Second right. one. Jesus. Uh, people have a problem doing this when they get home from, from like an, a night out drinking. Right? What, what's the problem they've got? Right? The, the initial there, K. What's the band? Right? People get in from uh, having a night out, they'll have a problem doing this. What is it? What's, what's, what's the problem? Okay. okay. And clue right. number three? I had a vision of that Chinese flu. Right? That's, that's C. I had a vision of that Chinese flu. You had a vision of that Chinese flu. Yeah, and, and that's the band the letter C. C. Right? So, three bands there. Three uh, cryptic clues. Not really. 
text in 83XFM, just, just send the three, uh, three band names, that'll do, won't it? Can they do a, a website as well? If they want, they can email in. Well, tell them what it is. Yeah, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Just right. send it in there. Give them again uh, quickly then, Carl. Right then, so get a bulb when it's young and that. Look Brilliant. after it. Different. Totally different. It. Teach it stuff. Yeah. And all that. Okay. Ah. Ah. What's the band, right? Yeah. Second one. Mm. People have a problem doing this when they get home late at night, you mm. know, they've been out drinking and that, they get home, what, yeah. what problem are you going to have? Mm. K is the initial. Mm. Third, third one, I had a vision of that Chinese flu. What do I mean? Mm. Brilliant. C, C is the initial. Player record. I mean, it's, it's a abomination. Right. Give us the, give us the Go on, give us a clue. I haven't got an idea. Go on, give me the clue then again. Right, well do you want to say who the winner is or... No, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's hear the answer to it. Uh, first, first clue was, uh, if you get a bulb when it's young, you yeah. look after it and that, you teach it stuff. Yeah. What's going on there? Go yeah. on. The initial was R. Yeah. Right, that was, that was razor light. Alright? Razor light, you raise a light. Razor yeah. light, okay. Kinda works. Yeah, Second didn't matter one. what sort of bulb it was then. <laughs> it was very sure. specific. Oh, uh, mind. Go on. People <laughs> have a problem doing this when they get home from a night out drinking. Yeah. What's the problem they're having? They have a problem getting the key in. Getting the key in, that, key in, key in, key in. That's the... That's awful. Keen. That doesn't count. Keen. Right. Keen. It's keen. It's keen. keen. It's one right. to awful. Uh, awful, last one, awful, awful. I had a vision of that Chinese flu. Yeah. Uh, that, the initial I was C, that was Caesars. 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 They managed to get that as well. Who's really? I love the fact that even he knows they managed to get that as well. Did anyone get all three? Yeah, a few people. That's did. terrible. Okay, Caesars. who was the first one? Who I don't first? know what it says about XFM and its listeners that people are getting these answers right. I know. Go on then. I mean, the last time I sort of sat down and had time, because I'm always busy doing stuff on that. Sure. Um, Moaning takes up about three hours a day. Mm. When did, when did Wimbledon, uh, finish? A couple of weeks ago. Right. Found myself sat there, right, and I'm not having a go, I know we stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week and all that, right, so Christ. I'm not, I'm not gonna be having a go. Christ. I sat there. I'm scared. No, I'm not having a go, you've always got to remember that. Go I'm on, just, just, just get on with it, get on with it, I'll apologise after. I'm just saying, watching Wimbledon, it wasn't, uh, you know, one of the major games, it was, uh, right. Little fellas in a in a wheelchair having a having a game. Little fellas in a wheelchair. Right. But for me, I mean, you know, great. They're doing a the sport and everything. Don't put it on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> what was up with it? It wasn't. There wasn't like, a rally going on. <laughs> oh God. No. Do you know what I mean? Do you know oh normally Christ. like with the with the with your, well not two endmen but with some of the. <laughs> <laughs> with, with some of the other players and that, they're playing for ages, aren't they? It's like, yeah. oh, who's gonna win this and that? Yeah. None of that. It was just like, hit it, net. <laughs> oh, Christ! Oh, God! I don't know what to do! What, 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 and people, people would like, sat there watching it as well, when they've got other games going on in there. That's what I couldn't understand. If you've paid your money to oh, get God. in... Yeah. I mean, like I say, good on them if they... Do you know what I mean? But it would've been... I and they all start I, first in the marathon. I just thought it would have, you know, give him a game of swing ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah, 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 I understand. <laughs> oh, God! Yeah. There's never anything XFM on. in the community. <laughs> Did Brilliant. anyone confirm, actually, I had an email earlier, um... Swing <laughs> ball! No, I'm not having a go, though. Tell them. This is what I'm like, aren't I? Uh, sorry, this is recording you as well. What do you mean I'm not having a go tell them? Do you, what, you no, think, you just said that to I mean? me, that you, do you think you haven't got a microphone? You just said to London, Keep wheelchair sport off the telly because they can't get a rally going. You call them little fellas in wheelchairs. What? And I meant to go. What Carl meant was. What? I mean, what? <laughs> they can hear you as well. Yeah, I know. It's just that they might think that I'm, I'm having a go and I don't want them to. That's why I stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week because some people got the wrong end of the stick. Right. And what have you? So well, it was funny that one was born with deformed legs. They might think you were taking the mech. <laughs> anyway, I just was wondering if anyone could confirm. We had an email earlier, I forget who sent it in, but thanks very much indeed for it. They said that the Paralympics began this week, and apparently what, during the opening show, the entertainment was provided by Riverdance. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know, I, I don't know if that, I can neither confirm nor deny that, but it does seem rather tactless. <laughs> Let's play a tune. <laughs> Ricky Gervais, <laughs> Ricky Dot Gervais. XFM. Don't put my name <laughs> to this last link. <laughs> Don't put my name to this last link. Ricky Dot Gervais, XFM dot co UK. Oh, Magic God. Virgin, if you're listening, we are available probably sooner than we thought. <laughs> Talking of uh, eating knobs. Yeah. Jilly Golden. Now she. What's she been up to? Well, you saw it in I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here.
I haven't been watching it. She popped a little kangaroo knob in the mouth. Chewed it up. What, she just found it? Did she lie around? No, 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 it was one of the things that she had to oh, eat. Oh, one of the, the, the challenges. Know, Carol Thatcher, you know, a daughter of, uh, one of our leaders. Sure. She popped a couple of bollocks in the mouth, oh. chewed them up, swallowed them. Oh. Uh, and Jilly Goulden, there was a kangaroo, uh, penis there, dried. She couldn't even get, it was so tough, she couldn't even get through it. And then she, <laughs> eventually she <laughs> eats it. What, was it like a pepperoni? Yeah. And she, what do you think of that, Carl? What, eating that sort of stuff? Yeah. I just, I mean, I, I, I watch it, I like those little trial bits, right? Yeah. But, what, what I don't think people realise is, right, it is hard eating a little kangaroo knob. Right? Really? How do you know? No, it's just, you know, you think about it and you go, oh, I couldn't do that, right? But what they never mention on the TV programme, which I think takes it to the next level, right? They're eating that at like half past seven in the morning. Sure. <laughs> right. Which is worse, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If, if, if I was there, and Ant and Dec said, right, Carl, eat the knob. I'd go, hang on a minute. <laughs> Gives a few hours. Let me get some rice and that on my belly. And just sort of fill me up a little bit more. I'll pop back at about half six this evening. Right. Have it ready. <laughs> and I'd, I'd be happier then. It's just it's just that thing of, you know, you, you, just, you, you, don't, you, don't, want eat, you don't want to eat animal genitals on an empty stomach. So what are you saying? You could I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, I, I, could eat, I could eat a knob at night, but... Just cut that there. We'll loop that. If any if any uh, DJs are listening, no. um, just take that quote. I could eat a knob at night uh, by Carl Pilkington. Mm -hmm. Maybe do a, a, a dance remix. Yeah, just I, maybe you're sort of a house producer, and you could maybe get some kind of high energy beat going, and then we can oh, just send that out to some of the gay clubs. I'm yeah. sure it'll be really popular. Please, please, anyone, send us you know uh, uh, that that loop with a nice little you know uh, funky house beat. Carl Pilkington saying I could eat a knob at night. No, but That's do, you, the, do you know what I mean though? With by that. Not really. Well, I, 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 d I, okay then, right, okay. Now, you, do you, I, I couldn't do it. I could, I could not do it. I couldn't pop a kangaroo testicle in my mouth and chew it. It was dis, it was disgusting to watch. She was eating witchy grubs. That, I mean, good on them because they were doing it. But then again, I think, well, they, they wanted to go in there. They knew what it, they were up for it. So, on the one hand, I think, is that admirable and is that showing sort of like good British metal mm -hmm. or is it, you know, I'll do anything to get on telly for a week. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't, where, where does it stop? You know, I thought Rebecca Lou's went too far when she gave the little pig a tug but at least she knew where to stop yeah. she didn't you know mm. uh, uh, well Jenny it's Gordon. obvious when you have to stop <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you the know the pig to, tells you that to, 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 to you know to pop the can also again where's the kangaroo hopping around without a cock I tell you here's another question right bit of a spin off with animals and that mm. have you ever right Steve killed a fly probably yes right well I was watching David Attenborough <laughs> right he makes his money out of flies and that, doesn't he? Do you think he's ever <laughs> killed one, or does he go, well, I can't kill that fly or that spider, because that's how I make me money? <laughs> I don't know what the question is! I don't know what this question is. <laughs> <laughs> like, my mum, right, she said, if if a fly is knocking about the house, she never kills it, she always catches it and puts it out and that, and she said she'd never Who kill one. Who is she? Mr Miyagi? <laughs> what do you mean she catches it? How yeah. does she catch it? With a it? pair of chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> no, she Second or third single? Brilliant. All the way back. Ten years ago. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Metal Mickey. Mm -hmm. On XFM 104.9. Was it ten years right. ago? Must have been, wasn't it? Wow. I think, was Drowners 91? I think so. Drums. Yeah. Go on. Right. Go on then, Carl. Second so one then. This is a bit easier, but I still think it's a good one. So this is, uh, we should explain what this is if it's you just a, tuned in. Uh, it's, uh, one of those stupid lateral thinking problems. That Carl himself has created. Yeah. That yeah. was his homework. Right, this go. one. Um, it's a fella. He, he has a normal day doing doing stuff. <laughs> Nothing wrong with him. Right? <laughs> and it's the twist in the tower. It's just like towers the unexpected. Yeah. Just a normal day. Nothing wrong with him. Hold on, though. He's got the legs of a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So that's uh, why he's been hiding his legs. So Go on. He, he does his normal the legs of a fish. <laughs> Sorry, can't carry on. He has his work his working day and that, yeah. and then he gets a bit tired. Oh. Mm. Um, goes to bed, he puts the light on, mm. leaves it on, goes to bed. Oh. That's crazy. That's mental. I, I can't think what's happened. Anyway, here's Radiohead. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Why, the question is why does he put the light on when so he's going So a man, to bed? He's, he's had a normal day, he's come home from work. Is that right, he's coming from work or he's not been working? Yeah, he's just been no, he's, he's been working and stuff, I think. <laughs> you think? You've made it up, Carl, you can decide. Um, so, is the, yeah. qu the question is why has he put the light on when he's asleep? There's a reason that he's put the light on when he's asleep. 
Has he gone to sleep? No, no, Carl, don't shrug. You're meant to answer these questions. He, he put the light on before he went to bed. Yeah, and the, and the question and you're asking me sleep. is why? What's and the scenario? And the light's on and, and yeah. that, but he's gone to sleep. Yeah. He started reading and then he fell asleep. Um, no. Did he inten- so he intentionally, for some reason, put the light on? Every night. It's mad. Sounds mad. <laughs> it's that, that's Carl, doesn't it? Every night he does it. Yeah. He puts the light on so and he it. Carl, Carl, is the point of this, th- 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 he, p- he puts the light on for a very good reason. D- not for us, but for some people. He's blind and it's always been on and he thinks he's turning it off, but it was on in the day and he thinks he's turning it off, but he's turning it on because he's no, blind. No, that'd be stupid. That works. No, that works great, Rick. Yeah. Thank you, Carl. So um, you've got to come up with- Hang on. Hang on. If what? you're blind, why would you put a light on? No, he thinks he's off. Yeah. But why would he turn it on anyway? Just think so he doesn't get burgled so people know he's in because he can't see him. So he just like, he puts the light on when he's there and then he turns the light off when he goes to bed. So people think it's fine. But he's, he's got it out of kilter and actually he's, he's, he's walking around in the dark all day. I don't th- believe that if you're blind you turn your light on. I don't on. think you'd be <laughs> living on your own, would you? I'm not having that for a second. Do blind people live on their own? I'm not having that for a second. Well, some people do. Lonely blind people live on their own. No, if you, if you like, if you got bad eyes. What, and even women? Any, um, are there any blind women who are living on the planet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if you know of some blind women. Oh, wait, 700, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4. We've gone through this. If, if you, you are a blind, blind woman, woman with, with, with no standards and you don't care annoying voices and smell, yeah. then get in touch with you. <laughs> yeah, Do I you mean, know? you've got to be within the ages of, say, 25 to 65. <laughs> you know, right. well, say, call it 75. You're yeah. fussy, you fussy all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, go on. If you were blind, would you live in London? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, someone said yesterday there was one struggling outside in Leicester Square, and I don't understand if you were. Bl- I mean, you but know, that if might have been a tourist. But why come to London if you if you're blind? It's the worst place in the world to come if you're blind. To hear the sights. <laughs> <laughs> to hear the sights. It's a bit mad, isn't it? They're, well, they have the yeah, same. They, they do the same. They job have tourist it. needs like anyone else. Yeah. No, but it, it sort of stinks, and you'd go away going, "Oh, it's not that good." I just thought that, I, I, I thought, thought it was a bit weird. Well, never mind your concern for the, the partially sighted or uh, part, you know, sight impaired people coming to London. Get on with this. Yeah. Um, so, th- yeah, so there he is. Yeah. It's like, oh, a bit tired. Yeah. Oh, just put the light on and get to bed. <laughs> yeah, so he turns the light on and he goes to bed. Yeah. Oh. Should we, should we, um, as we, should we play a track? Oh, he's not, it is not, he's not sleeping on the job, he's a lighthouse keeper. Well done. Is your lighthouse that, keeper? That's not it, Carl. He's a lighthouse keeper. Right, that's why it. wasn't the light on all the time? It's, it's light in the day. You idiot. Play a record. What? Play a record. You're a buffoon. No, actually, the light's- the light is not in the day, is it? No, Rick? it's not. I think you're the buffoon. Oh, yeah. Carl has won! <laughs> <laughs>